What is up team? Welcome back to Worked and welcome back to day 16 of the Tempoed program. We got a full body workout on the books for today. Let's hop into the warm up and I'll walk us through our first circuit. We're going to go with 10 toe touch squats to start off so you can keep those legs straight. As you can, get a nice reach down, grab the toes, drop the butt. Elbows inside of the knees, stand back up. Oh, quads are sore after Saturday. That was a lot of squats. Oh, uh, thanks, Sergio. Forgot to share it. There we go. I was jamming my own music over here. We're going 10 body weight good mornings. The good mornings are actually in our first circuit, so a little warm up. We're going feet, shoulder a little closer together, hands behind your head. Push your butt back towards the wall. Get a nice stretch in those hamstrings and glutes for 10 reps. Do a little forward lunge. You're actually going to drop the knee to the ground this time on the forward lunge. You're going to put your right hand inside of your right leg and rotate up. And you're going to do that three times actually, the rotation part. Stretch towards the ceiling. And then you're going to come out of your lunge. Left leg, put the knee down the ground. Left leg, left hand comes inside of your left knee. You're going to rotate up and back down to the ground. Then we're gonna drop, actually come up, then we're gonna drop down into five push-ups with an overhead reach. So we're on our hands, full push-up down to the ground, reach overhead, press back up. Five reps. We're gonna hop up, we're gonna go 10 internal, external overhead reaches. So here, rotate down and back up. Those elbows should stay high. You're rotating around that point and then back up. Try to get the palms facing back and then up. 10 reps and then 10 big arm circles forward. 10 in reverse, 10 crosses. We will jump into our first circuit here. All right, team, so, first circuit of the day. We got three movements, 50 seconds for each movement, 20 seconds of rest between each movement, we got 40 seconds between rounds, three rounds through. You're gonna need a chair, a bench, a stool, a toilet seat, something to sit down on. We're going 50 seconds of pistol squats on the right leg to start. So, we have a two down tempo. I got somebody hopping in here. So we got a two down tempo. So a pistol squat, we're on one leg. Slowly lowering yourself. One, two, sit the butt down, leave the leg off the ground, drive back up, lock out. A modification for this is plant the heel on the ground, one, two down, and you can use that front heel to assist you up a little bit. Still try to keep the tempo on point. Another modification that's even easier is one, two down, put both feet down and stand up, or you can go down on both feet and up on one leg. That's probably a little harder than the previous one. So pick the modification that suits you. You can also add a weight as well. I'll you in mind with the weight. You can hold your weight like so. A little bit loaded over to the leg you're working. So you can kind of shift the weight a little, a little bit over if you're on the right leg. One, two, down, and then drive back up. I'm gonna start with the 25, get a little warmed up, and then increase my weight. So we're gonna go right leg, left leg, and then we move into the last movement, which is a good morning. So we're gonna hold the weight high up on the chest, like so, feet are closer together, about deadlift stance. Shoulder blades back and together, keep that low back flat. You're gonna push your butt back towards the wall, keeping your head neutral, stand back up. Nice low flat back. 
on the low back. If you want to feel this in the glutes and the hamstrings. If you want to go a little heavier, you can also load it on the back of your shoulders. So whatever's kind of the most comfortable for you. I actually like it like this a little better. I can use more weight and then drive back up. Really focus on squeezing the glutes and the hamstrings at the top of the movement. Those are our three moves, team. Any questions? I'm gonna go 25s on the uh, pistols, and I'm gonna go 40 on the good mornings. We got a 10 second countdown. Let's get to work. Eight. Pistol squats on the right leg. Keep that tempo, team. Two seconds down. Explode up. And work. One, two. Drive. Use that heel if you need a little assistance. One, two, drive. bench try not to rock back you don't want to use too much momentum you're trying to just sit from here explode up keeping the foot close to the bench can really help if you have your two, foot too far out it's hard to get loaded two we're going left leg and work one two drive those abs brace nice and tight pushing the butt back to the wall behind you three two work really fast, not controlling it, keep the same weight or go a little lighter, you felt pretty good, try to up it, you want weight, five, three, we're going right leg pistols, one, and work, one, two, drive. Hmm. 
20 seconds, team. Keep that tempo. Three, two, rest. Woo! Should really feel this concentrated in the quad muscle. In particular, this vastus medialis, the one running up the inside of your leg. You're letting that knee push over the toe, keeping that heel down the entire time. Three, left leg. One, work. Ten seconds, guys. Come on. Own the movement. One. Rest. Good morning is coming up. And we got one more round. Pick it up. Let's get ready to work in three, two, one. Go. Keep that low back tight, abs tight. Keep them abs turned on. Abs squeezed. Push those hips back. Ten. Two. One. And rest, team. Woo. 40 seconds. Run it back one more time. On Team Monday. Start off on the right foot. I'm gonna go 40 on my uh, last set of pistols. Make it hard. 10 seconds, team. Two second tempo down. Explode up as fast as you can. In three, two, one. Let's work. Right leg. Thirty seconds. We can pretend that we're just friends, but who are we kidding? Ten seconds, guys, hang in there. Three, two, one, and rest. 15 seconds, run it back, left leg. Eight seconds, team. Keep that heel planted. And work.
two, one, and rest. Last set of good mornings. Woo. Ten seconds, guys. We got a nice rest coming up after this. Three, one, and work. Ten seconds, team. Five, two, and rest. Woo. Three minutes, team. Catch your breath. Today is not a long one, so go a little heavier if you can. We only got three circuits today. Woo. All right, team. We got the exact same format this next round. 50 on, 20 off, 40 seconds between rounds. Three movements. Our first move is a split stance deadlift to row. Our tempo here is a two second on the deadlift and a two second on the row. So we're gonna start off with actually our left foot forward. Our back foot is only behind us by a little bit up on the tippy toe. We have a slight bend in the right knee, in the left knee. And we're going to hold a single dumbbell to start in the right hand. So it's going to, I'm going to practice with a lighter weight just to give myself a break. <laughs> so it's going to look like this. Here, you're going to deadlift. So your hips are going back. Chest is pointing towards the ground. Low back staying flat. Keeping a slight bend in that left knee. And this right knee can bend a lot, whatever you need it to. It's just there stabilizing. All the work should be coming from the front leg. So you're loaded on that left leg. When you hit the bottom, you're going to row. And then one, two, down. Start from the side, it looks like this. Other foot right behind it, like a kickstand. One, two, down, set. You want your back nice and flat, your chest square. You don't want to be rotated. You're gonna pull back towards your hip. And then one, two, down. Don't row here, you're rowing here. Keeping that elbow tight to your side and really feeling the back muscle engage. So, with that left leg forward, you should feel the left leg doing the work on the leg side and the right side doing the work on the back side. We're gonna take 20 seconds and switch sides. So opposite hand, opposite leg forward. And then moving into our final move, death rolls. So, we're in our bare position. Hands right underneath your hips. I'm sorry, hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Knees come off the ground in, about an inch. This is your starting point. From there, you're gonna come up on your toes. You're gonna kick the left leg through, put the butt down, heel down. A leg is in a straight line with the mat. This leg stays bent. You're gonna come down into a full sit up. And then hands come back to center, back to your bear. Opposite side, through, full sit up. A modification for this is just to do kick sits. So you can go from here, kick the leg through, the left leg comes through and the left hand plants, and then you come back to the center. Pay attention, through, center, back and forth. That's an easier modification if you can't do the full setup or it's too much for you. Any questions, team? We got eight seconds. We're going into deadlift to rows. I'm going 40 pounds. Left leg forward, right hand. Let's work. One, two, row. One, two, up. Get as low as you can. That left to left hamstring will allow. Back to the top. Cause I knew from the start this might be overrated. It's so typical, you wanna give it one more try. Even though if you're nice telling you it's all alive. Two. 
two, one. Rest for 20. We're switching legs and arms. Dumbbells on the left hand, right leg is forward. Up on your back, left toe. Same concept. Pick it up, guys. Three, two, one. Work. One, two. Feel that stretch. Drive. Push the butt back towards the wall. This is the same kind of movement pattern as the good morning. Hinging at the hip. Pull. Five. Two. One. Rest. Death rolls. Start in the middle of your mat, to plenty of your room. Two, one, work. Kick through, full sit up, back to center. Opposite side. Come on, team. Five. Two. One. Rest. 40 seconds. We're back to the top. So ask yourself how those deadlifts or rows felt. If they were a little, a little easy, you can increase the weight in one hand. Or if they were pretty hard on the row, you can increase the weight on the leg by holding two dumbbells and just rowing one. Which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to hold two 40s. Row one. Legs are stronger than your arms, so that's very common. Five seconds, team. Let's get ready to work. Three, two, one. Left leg forward. Nice and slow. Row. Twenty seconds, team. Come on, let's get it. Challenge yourself. Find that tempo. One, two, pull. One, two, three, one, and rest. Woo! Should feel that all the left hammy and glute, right side. If you're holding two dumbbells, grip is going to become a factor too. Five, three, one. Let's work. Right leg forward, left arm rows. Let that back knee bend, Steve. There you go. Let that butt push back towards the wall. 15 seconds. Woo! Five. 
two, one, and rest. Oh, whole upper back is getting toasted. You're trying to keep those shoulder blades pinned back in together the whole time. Tight upper back. We're building that whole posterior chain, which is your backside. Let's go. Death rolls. Three, one, let's work. Guys, come on. Let's work. That heart rate stuff. Full body, core. Building a goddamn machine here. Four, two, one, and rest. Woo! Let's get it. Come on, team. Challenge yourself a little bit. I see some of you out there holding one dumbbell. You can go two, you can go one heavier dumbbell in the non-rowing arm. Only if you have that form locked down though, don't let me pressure you into it. I'm just trying to give everybody who maybe is feeling a little lazy on a Monday, a little extra kick in the ass. Seven seconds team, last round through. Come on, three, one. Let's work, left leg forward. Row, row on right. Tempo. Keep that body square. A little slower step on that way down. There you go. seconds. Woo. Huh. Last one. Five, three, one. Right leg forward. Left arm rows. Working team, 15 seconds. Woo! Five, two, one. Rest, rest. Oh, death roll team. We got a three minute rest coming up after this. I want some uh, extra intensity in this last one. Let's move it.
one. Oh, they got an 18. Holy shit. 30 minutes, team. Woo. Come on. I lifted this on a Monday. Let's go. I need a second. All right, team. I need a second. We got the exact same format. Our first move is a alternating clean. So what we're actually gonna do is do a clean from between the legs. So go a little lighter on this. You're gonna step, hinge, pop, press. One, two down on the press. Step back in, drop it. Opposite side, step, press. Back down, step, clean, press. You can either step your legs back together at the beginning. So essentially, we're stepping, hips are going back. You're doing a clean and a press. And then you can come back down, step back, step to the other side. Actually, it probably work better if you go step, clean, step back, press, and then come back down and do the same thing. Any questions? There's a little bit new one, confusing. You kind of have to get in a rhythm a little bit. Basically, we're stepping each way to do the clean. What do you want? 15s? That's our first move. Our second move is a goblet squat. Two down, one pause, two up tempo. So, holding dumbbell like so, feet shoulder width apart. One, two, pause, one, two. Simple. I'm gonna go probably 40 there. See how my legs feel. And the final move is a slow elbow to knee. <clears throat> so you're gonna be on your hands. You're gonna go elbow to knee. Slow, reach, touch. You're trying to bring that knee to the outside of the elbow and really get a hard crunch on the obliques. No tempo there, just try to move. A modification, you just hold a plank and knee, uh, a little bit in between is just do a slow climber across the middle. Cool? Any questions, guys? Those are our three moves. Let me show you the first one again, just in case. So you're here, stepping, clean, come back, press. Back here, step, dumbbells come between your legs, clean, press, two down on the press, back down. I'm gonna go 25s on that. Five seconds, guys. Two, one, work. Step right in between. Hips go back, clean. Press nice and slow. You can actually let them drop straight from your shoulders and step at the same time. And then reset to middle. Oh, I might go 30. Heart rate is up there. Two down. One pause. Two up. Two. One. Work. One. Two. Pause. One. Two. Lock out. Press. 
slow mountain climbers. Woo. Five, two, one, and work. Reach, crunch. are okay. Keep those hands right underneath your shoulders for a nice solid bridge. questions about those alternating cleans. I know it's a little bit of a coordination thing. I think the best way to start actually is up on the shoulders. So you step, let them drop, clean, press, bring them back down to the shoulder and step the other way and then drop. That's probably the most comfortable way. Instead of having them out here and trying to get them in, go right from the shoulders to the next one. Three. One, go back to the top, let's do it. Up on the shoulders first, step, hips back, clean, step back to the center, press. One, two, down. your hips and legs to get that dumbbell up to your shoulder. <sighs> 10 seconds, you hang in there with me. Oops. <sighs> Two, one, rest. Okay. Eight seconds, team. We got goblet squats. I'm going 40 this round. Three, two, two, one, two down, one pause, two up. Keep those heels planted. Pause, two up. No bounce out of the bottom. We're controlling that with every muscle in your legs. Press. Huh. 
Guys, come on. Dig deep, one more round. And we are done, this is it. That short one is harder than it looked. Nice deep breaths in and out of the nose. 10 seconds, team. We're back to our cleans. Let's get it. Clean and press. Two, one. Up on the shoulders. Let's work. Step, drop. Step, press. Two down, one pause, two up. Four, two, one, work. Come on team, 10 seconds, hang in there with me. Three, two, one, rest. Low climbers team, come on. Could do anything for 50 seconds, let's get it. Kick-Ass Monday, we'll be back with a upper body workout tomorrow. Same time, same place, your living room. Thank you guys, have an awesome rest of your Monday. I'll see you manana.